ranches all across Canada. And this little gal here, that's, that's Moira's uh, daughter, Catherine. Uh, she's going to be uh, along with Davy, who's a lifeguard out there. Uh, Davy and Catherine <laughs> will be throwing to mom in the studio when we finish our ranch segment. Ranches are important to you, Bruce. Well, yeah, it's a great opportunity for kids to practice uh, many times for the first time leadership skills. And certainly Circle Square Ranch, I'm a big fan because uh, my daughter, oldest daughter, Cheryl, uh, you know, picked, down in the States she's now, the one in the States the touring, tour. blessing kids across North America right now. Well, she picked up her first guitar and strummed her first few chords at a Circle Square Ranch in the summer and, and started to see the impact that could make on her peers. And, and that was her introduction to worship. And uh, my son, Chris, my big son, Chris, who's, uh, you know, 6'4", and and gone on to, to great things in his own life these days. Uh, uh, Chris started his rapping there. He had a great Jeff Goring, great friend of uh, Christopher's. Uh, so there were lifelong friendships, relationships, but I think even more important, these kind of leadership skills are really encouraged and mentored at a, at a facility like that. I think our producer George is having a memory uh, flashback there about the first rap we, we taped in this place. It was Christopher Stacy in the Good Samaritan Rap. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he was 12 with, years old. Preaching with a beat. <laughs> and last a, night I was talking, yeah, that's what it is. It's preaching to a beat, really. Uh, last night I, I was talking to an eight-year-old girl uh, in the home where I was staying. And uh, I was telling her, you're old enough now. You could start to the ranch. And she says, well, she said, hmm, maybe not till I'm a little older. I think she was a little nervous. <laughs> Is there anything to be nervous about? Well, I think the first time going away to the ranch or, or going away on a you know, summer vacation without mom and dad mm. is a little nervous, but that's, that's part of the thrill, really. When they get there and realize, hey, I'm, I'm okay. I've made it through the night. You know, the bears haven't attacked or whatever, whatever fear <laughs> is drummed up in the mind of a young kid. But that's how, that's how you grow. And, uh, and I think sometimes, you know, the little birds need a little shove her little boot out, out of the nest, you know, to get them moving. So I think it's a great thing for kids to experience that. Oh, absolutely. So we have in this hour uh, a, a bit of time to reminisce. Uh, maybe just before, now we, we do the things for children. I, I just feel I need to do something here today. Uh, I supposedly officially retired six years ago. And uh, the board of directors of Crossroads made uh, Ron Maines, my son, the president. And as those of you who are regular watchers or have received my letters, the board of directors asked me this summer to write the letters out to the partners, those who support the ministry. Uh, you know that Ron has stepped aside for, uh, for now. And uh, we, we are uh, deeply concerned uh, on many fronts about the future as you are. I had a letter here that I wrote uh, in July, uh, dated July the 6th, to our partners. And, and just we'll be right back with this exciting uh, children's uh, ministry. I mean, the theaters across Canada were filled with these marvelous uh, uh, images of uh, God Rocks Live in Miami. So the children were so excited about that. And um, like one little, little kid said, leaving the theater just next door to us here at the Crossroads Center, uh, Mommy, can I go back and see it again? <laughs> so we'll, we'll be coming up with that in a moment. But I wrote this letter. Hi, my dear friends. Uh, Will Davis Jr., author of the book titled Pray Big, said recently on 100 Huntley Street that he had been in a three hour prayer meeting when he stopped praying and God spoke to him very clearly and precisely. You can do better. You've asked for blessings, help, provision, etc., but nothing big which would require me to act like God. You prayed to safe. And so we're going to tell you how you can revolutionize this matter. The most powerful weapon we have as human beings is prayer. Believe me, it works. I have experienced it again and again and again. And then I said, thank you so much for your love and care for my sons, Ron and Reynolds. It warms my father's heart. Please pray big specific prayers for them. I believe that they will be stronger and more experienced than ever as a result of stepping aside. They will also be more able to teach others. God always restores. Consider Job who was restored to twice the blessing of God on his life. The Bible says know yourselves concerning matters of the heart. Ronald and Reynold have kept a right spirit. They are truly godly men. 
So big prayers for Reynolds and Ronald. I, the reason I, I brought that up is that I was just thinking yesterday that if I came to your door, knocked on the door, and you were one of the regular supporters or viewers of 100 Huntley Street, what would be your first, maybe second question, but I would think it would probably be your first question. The question would be how are, are, are Ron and Reynolds doing? Now we know Anne is on Friday. Um, Kathy and Reynolds are, are out doing uh, ministry in various ways. But I just wanted to let you know, I felt I had to do that because that would be your first question to me if I knocked on your door or if a representative of this ministry, Crossroads, 100 Huntley Street, knocked on your door. You'd say, how are they doing? And uh, so I wanted to let you know. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, that's where, where Ron and Ann are right now. They are at this magnificent place. This one here I didn't show yet. Yes, I showed that one, Bruce. Give, give me oh, the other one. There you go. Uh, what one do I want? The, the Bruce's watercolors that he did <laughs> sat on the porch. And uh, it was a wonderful lazy week. There it is. I'm back there with the wind blowing through my hair, <laughs> curling up my toes. <laughs> wonderful R&R &R during that week. I was thinking, David, as you talked about praying big, that you know who knows how to pray big? Our children know how to pray big because no one's taught them any differently. And uh, that's the most wonderful uh -huh. sound, I think, that we hear at our God Rocks concert is when Cheryl or Todd or one of the, the God Rocks team leads kids in prayer and, and they lift up their little voices to the Lord because, uh, you know, they, they haven't been kind of preconditioned by everything the world kind of lays on you that you can't ask God and, and talk to God and let him know whatever is on your heart and mind because God's listening. Absolutely, he's listening. And, and the songs you've written are, are scripture. They, they are taken right directly from the words of the Bible. And you've, you know, put them poetically and, and you've put them to music. Well, we just believe that, uh, you know, getting the word of God into the heart of children, getting the, the great stories from the Bible, the great moral stories of the Bible, is so important and we know that it's foundational in the lives of children yeah. because if they don't hear these messages, I mean something as simple as the, the Ten Commandments and those kind of rules, where, where are they going to get that nowadays? I mean it's kind of a blurred image these yeah. days that kids face. I mean something as simple as, you know, don't steal, you know, with all the downloading on the internet and, and everything that goes on these days. I think there's a little confusion. So the Bible can bring some clarity to these important issues at an early age when it's really foundational. And as parents, um, you know, we need to kind of nudge them in that direction. So, so you're right, God Rocks music is full of the Word of God. Um, you know, this is not, not nice songs, nice words that we've made up. We know that this stuff works. It, it's worked in my life and, and we want to share it with, with boys and girls in a way that's age appropriate and they can understand yeah. it. Okay, Grandma and Grandpa, fasten your seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, boys and girls, from here on in, we're talking to you. Here's God Rocks, live in Miami. One of the songs that was in the theaters across the country back about a month ago. Let's go. Boys and girls, that's fun. I mean, it's real great fun. 
And uh, uh, you need to listen, not just watch. And also, uh, Bruce Stacy right here, he's a dad and he's a grandpa too. Uh, he does animation, he makes cartoons. So this also is from God Rocks Live in Miami that was featured in the theaters. Splinter, can you track her? Yeah, and she's heading right to Darkon's last position. Full speed, go, go! Jen, can you reach Little Star on the communicator? Starlight rescued a Little Star. Come in, Little Star. Do you read? <sighs> We're too far out of range. We've got to get closer. Starlight rescued to Little Star. Can you hear us? Please turn back. Little Star, do you read? Stop, cadets. This is a terrible development. Little Star was afraid Commander Chip would get hurt, so she's gone off to find Doc on herself. <laughs> 